Hello there, and welcome to another The Hunter Classic gameplay video. My name is Wimperman, and in this video I'm going to be seeing if I can fall in like with Settler Creeks. Now, I don't think I'm going to fall in love with it, but let's see if by the end of today I like it. Now, the irony is, let's come out of that view for a second, there are bits of this map that I do actually like. Um, so I'm pretty sure I've enjoyed hunting down here can can you uh, can you go excuse, excuse me can you hello can you fuck off thanks uh, so down here I really like hunting I have some good memories of hunting bobcat I think it was probably for one of the missions you had to come here and get a bobcat and yeah I really enjoyed this bit of the map I also like this area actually the whole idea that there are three towers all in a line at this one side of the map I, I kind of like. And I like all the little farm uh, locations as well. Here and here and where the little buildings are and that kind of thing. So I suspect, as I've said in other videos, the reason people, including myself, don't like the map is because of the foliage. It tends to get in the way and as I'm sure most of you know... If you can walk through the plants, the the flora, the animals can see through it. Um, it. They can only not see through the stuff that's solid that you can't walk through. I think that's part of the problem. As you can see, it's pissing down, so I've come under the shelter. That's not what I meant to do. I fell over! Ah, my knee! Um, so... Equipment wise, I'm going to be bringing the 30 6 Stutzen that I brought in a previous video, bought with no R. I'm also bringing the 12 gauge Blazer for. So I know this one is good for the elk, the bear, the whitetail, and the hog. And I'm bringing this with birdshot in case I see a nice turkey or rabbit that I want to take. And I've got some buckshot in my pocket in case I come across a bobcat. I am of course bringing the snake bite in case I need to take anything out quietly. Now, there are some things I'm running quite low on. So I've only got five bulletses for the 30 or 6. I've only got one first aid kit. I've only got three scent eliminator sprays. And as you can see, I'm already at capacity and I had to throw away one of my marker flags. Now, I did originally get rid of the camping supplies. The thing is, I thought it would be better to bring those because I can use those to go to a tent and resupply, is the idea. Clothing-wise, apart from the ones I've taken off, I'm in full summer forest. So... I am going to have to avoid the fields on this map. Fairs. Forest? No. Forest? Yeah. Which might be an issue, but I'm hoping it will be okay. So the map is mostly forest, as far as I know. There is some bits where summer field... Hmm. Why, why does that keep coming up? Okay. <laughs> right, so as far as plan for where to walk, I don't actually have one. So because I'm not after anything specific, I'm just going to go wherever the game takes me. That is the hunter game and, of course, the animals game. Now, I'm going to have birdshot loaded in the shotgun in my secondary, just in case there's a rabbit and I can swap it out for a bow if I need it. Here's the plan. Uh, also, in the last video, I mentioned that I had, that I was taking along with me for that hunt, the chocolate lab retriever. Now, one of my subscribers, Boris, made the mistake of telling me 
that as I said the word chocolate, as I was talking about chocolate lab, he happened to be putting chocolate in his mouth. Now, of course, all sorts of inappropriate things came into my head when I said, I'm going to start saying things in my videos to see if he's eating them at the time. <laughs> um, I was worried because he had mentioned school about his age, but he also made the mistake of informing me that he is actually above the age of consent. So, Minge. Of course, if you are actually eating any Puntang pie at the moment, Boris, you really ought to be focusing on that and not listening to me. So, you can pause me, come back to me later on and concentrate on what you're doing. If you need any tips, you can, you can write the alphabet with your tongue. Uh, uh, so... Let's see what we can come across. A feral hog. A meh one. So here is one of the reasons people don't like this reserve. Is the long grass. You can't really do much proning and shooting. So you have to fire from crouched most of the time. And if you haven't got your weapons up to particularly high level it's all wobbly wobbly uh, now have you seen me no but I think you can smell me can I get under there maybe if I was prone and not wobbly wobblying I could have gone uh. Uh, so I was planning to lie either on that boulder or up on this little mound here but, unfortunately, the Piggy Wiggy was already coming towards me. <laughs> so, I did make the hog squeal down here. And it, yeah, came towards me. Right, well, it wasn't very good, but let's go see. Oh, he's already dead. Oh, and of course I fired a loud weapon so I can run. <laughs> Okay, 32 gems, that's not bad. I mean, the 707 is a bit meh, but... I mean, that's a box of ammo, at least. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what else we can find. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention that... I have actually changed my clothes. I do now have a mix of summer field and summer forest. It's not the mix I normally have... I couldn't remember what I normally have, so I've done that. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it would be best. So, looking at the map, there seems to be more light green than I remember. So I thought it was probably best to put some... Why Why does that keep coming up? Can you stop it, please? And now can... I'm not pointing at that one anymore, so can you go away? Thank you. That's annoying. Um. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Right, there's a couple of turkey toms up ahead. I've definitely seen one of them and I found tracks of two. Let's see if I can get him on camera. No. So he was either there or there. I can't remember. I saw him through the trees. That's why I pressed record. Uh See if I can get it to call. Oh, yeah. Uh, expansive Worlds, you, you've broke the little point with the latest update. So, it is very nice now on the launcher. Let's get rid of that. So, there was a problem with the update previous to the last one where I would just hover over a tent for a hundredth of a second and then the map would move because it's telling me all about happy camper tents so I'm glad that that's gone but uh, as you saw earlier in the video there is a problem with that 
you just hover over it over a tent slightly and that pops up and then it doesn't go away properly but the little red dot the waypoint has a similar problem so I want to put a point on that guy's uh, so it let's say I missed this jet just then which I did with the other guy's call what now it's now it's working properly is it it wasn't doing this before yeah you see that little black there that that was preventing me from moving my waypoint just now it, it seems that's not an issue <laughs> anymore or it, it picks and chooses when to do it I guess anyway yeah, that that does maybe need looking at please ah there he is over there that's one of them the other guy is over here though I'm wondering if it's worth taking that out putting the bow in I'm not entirely sure it's going to work, but you never know. Taking one, the first one that gets here with the bow, and then the second one with the shotgun. Ah, oh, it's raining again. Ooh. A noise was made. Where's that turkey? Oh, yeah, uh, so back to Boris then, and stuff he's putting in his mouth. I I wonder if you're eating turkey. You eating turkey? Since I've said turkey a few times, turkey? You putting turkey in your mouth as I say the word turkey? Let's see if I can get a spot on this turkey. 50 to 75. So the thing that worries me about this is the other one seemed to be closer. The one to the left. So I'm wondering if it is still closer than that one and I just haven't seen it through all the foliage. Is that maybe... No. And that one's now taking an awkward route. Okay, I'm going to have to think about taking the shot soon. Okay. Because only three pieces of my clothing is currently active. Damn it. I just saw another one fly away. The one that flew away though looked like a hen. Is that the right word for a female turkey? Let's ask Google. Ah. Oh. So I'm, I'm right about the female, but according to this, males are called gobblers. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm guessing the other male has fled <laughs> that turkey is doing a brilliant impression of a feral hog so there's the tracks of the one I saw over here Jeez, Joe, the I I've only hunted turkeys once since they were updated, and that was the April Fool's turkeys. So they didn't look like this, but I mean I've seen them in you know people's videos. Who cares and Binky and yeah, they do look good. All right, let's see what did he get? A sixty-six and a half. That's almost one higher than my personal best. 
My personal best is 65.4. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I've got some M's left. I'll do it with that. I mean, it's a shame it wasn't bigger than that, but that's cool. Right, well then, I'll see you when I come across something else. Another turkey, a new one, and this is what I was talking about with the red dot. I can't now move that slightly south, and now that the uh, caller rings have gone. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay. So, I went over there onto that little mound there and did a elk call and a deer call just to see if anything came over and then this turkey started calling so I'm planning to head south to that tower and then into this area that I said earlier I quite like just to see if I still like it <laughs> That's that's the plan, and I know that there's elk and whitetail in the area. So, oh, and bobcat as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can move the red dot then. Nope. 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 Click. 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 Fairish. Still can't move it. There. No. Uh, can can you move? Yeah. That'll do. Yeah, devs, you broke the marker. Seven minutes and twenty-seven seconds later. Ooh. I hear a bobcat. It meowed. So, I've cr I've come out of the tower. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I've come out of the tower. I decided if I crawl to this edge, I might be able to get a shot on the turkey a bit early. Earlier than if I waited in the tower, at least. And uh, now I've heard that meow. There's the turkey. I think... I might try and take this guy with the bow again. He's another 50 to 75. Okay, annoyingly he's decided to stop and have a bite to eat. Meow. And now he's walking away? Seven hours and twenty seven minutes later. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so now you're twenty five meters away, I shall take a bow shot at it. What? What? So I've come here to see if I can end up liking the map and it seems like I'm going to end up disliking the fucking game. How was that arrow? I, I'm going to have to watch that footage back because it seemed like it went through him and hit the ground behind him and I could see the little red light it, it looked like the little red light was in him but it wasn't it was glowing through him I, I don't get it I don't get it after all that fucking around uh, moan just heard the meow again so oh, god's sake I came up here looking for the bobcat I found its tracks this is its tracks heading this way 
And as I'm following it, just over this little ridge here, I heard flappy, flappy, flappy. So I'm going to see if I can get an arrow on the turkey. Oh, where? Oh, I'm guessing it fled. I saw the information pop up for a half of a second. Not even that, actually. Okay, so the cat meow came from that way, even though its tracks are showing it coming this way. Ooh. There are multiple. That's what it is. There are multiple cats. Okay. So, let's pop this back in here again. Okay, so you are about there. Okay, I think I'm going to try to get round the back of it, pop some urine spray there, and then turn on the caller if I can take it from the tower that's a good sign I know it's still there although it did sound very close <laughs> right so hopefully the urine spray will bring that bobcat within range of the caller that's the plan Oh, uh, I did bow a doe, by the way, from uh, that tower, when I was in that tower, but it was down there grazing. Ooh. Yeah, couldn't see that doe at all. There she goes, off in the distance. Uh, okay, let's turn on the e-caller. I did think about putting a uh, flag down where I did the urine spray, but... That would mean I would have to go and get it. <laughs> Seven days and 27 hours later. Ah, there she is. Any good? Five to eight. Not terrible, but could be better. <laughs> so, I do know there is a male in the area. The tracks of the other one was a male. And it looked like he was walking that -ish way. But it's possible he's done a loop or something. So I will have to keep my eyes out for any more. There. That's going to be the male, I think. Not coming to the call, though. It is a male, a 7 to 9. So I'm going to have to try and take her with the bow, then. I was right to equip the bow. Why isn't... Oh, he's going to the urine spray. Oh, that's kind of done me a bit of a favour, actually. Because it means he's still over there when I'm bowing her. <laughs> Touch wood. Yes, that was my own head. 
<laughs> the other one, the main one, the the one at the top of the neck, that one. <laughs> oh. What? Honestly? What am I supposed to do with that? He's over there. She's obscured by the upright post there. I can't... So I, th I think I might have to try and... Oh, God. See, I need her to walk around the end. <laughs> okay. Is she going to figure out how to go round the fence? Now he's coming. The thing is, if I try and bow her now, she's only going to run towards him. Right. <laughs> and down. And crawl like a worm. Okay, I'm back in the tower. She's got to there. He's coming to the caller by the looks of it. Aha. There he is. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be another reason why people hate this map. This reserve. Nope, I want that one. He's at 50. <coughs> got him! I got him! Okay, good. So let's turn it off. So she, I don't know if you could still see her, she's still stood in the same spot there, she hasn't moved. Now I have had problems with Bobcat in the past, especially on Rougarou Bayou, but I'm pretty sure it's happened elsewhere. Where they'll just stand in a spot and not move for ages and then they'll just suddenly flee. It's weird. and. It only seems to be the bobcat as well that it does it with. So, I mean, as you saw, I put the urine spray down there and she's ignored that. Was that even close? I can't see the little red light. So I don't know. I'm going to try crawling nearer and then shotgunning her from the side. We'll see. Well, side ish. From the rear flank ish. Seven moans and 27 crawlings later. Oh, now there's a fucking bear interfering. Did it just go to sleep? I think it did. Yeah, I don't know where the bobcat is now. Okay, well... Why not? About there? Mm. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> shut up at your face. 89 gems, 19.8. Mm. So the female bobcat walked her over here somewhere and then just stood there. Maybe here ish? Yeah. So I might go pick up the mail and then go turn the e-caller back on. You would never know, she might still be in the area. Is that a fleeing? No, she's not still in the area. Oh. <laughs> I 
Right, let's go get this. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are called Toms, aren't they? Maybe? I don't know. Right, here he is. You know, the, the game really didn't want me to get that pussy, did it? Oh, another one for Boris, maybe? Uh, so, an eight and a half. Which is nowhere near my PB, but the gems are good. That's why I wanted both of them, to be honest. Oh, is it worth maybe going back to that tower with the urine spray? Might be. Can, can you just put a dot on it, please? Devs, you broke the game! Well, you broke the, the waypointy thing. I used to be able to put dots on that kind of stuff. Moan. Right, well then I'll see you back over there. Okay, I've been tracking the bobcat. It's been fleeing. Uh, I haven't yet come across any roaming tracks, but I've just had the call of the turkey from early. Oh, shit, he's there. Shit, he's coming already. That's what she said. Uh, okay. Am I in? Nope. No? No. Yes. Nah. Oh, okay. So I was going to do the caller on the road, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need to. <laughs> okay. Right. Stop wobbling. I think that hit him in the head. Right then, let's see what you score. That was quite a bit of luck, the fact that I came across him again. I don't have much of it. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was shit. Hang on. Huh. So this was fully tracked. He called, I I did his call. And I already had three tracks, but the one that got away had a estimate of 50 to 70. So that must have been another one. Hmm. I think there was a second one with the first one I killed, isn't there? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, right, so now I need to find her tracks again. Oh, she's not going to call because of that doe that you just heard. The uh, bobcat, I mean, isn't going to call because of the doe. Okay, I'll bring you back if I find her. Just heard a meow. I've also just bowed a hog. It's there. So, I was a little bit worried, shut up, though, that uh, I'd spooked the bobcat again, but that meow lets me know I haven't. So the track dome there is her. She's in this direction somewhere. So I think I want to get up on that hill, spray down here, go up there, speaking of spray, the scent eliminate is still good. Ah. So we've got a bit of a clearing that's in clear view of the hill, good. Uh, that hog, by the way, is a female, and it wasn't a particularly good one either, so... I haven't forgotten about it, I'm just not all that fussed. <laughs> I will go and get it once we've got the bobcat. But the bobcat is taking priority at the moment. I mean, I'm not expecting a hundred gems, but she should still be good. Can I climb on top of this? That would have been good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, 
At least my salad, another one for Boris, has stopped repeating on me. It was spinach leaves, chicken slices, cucumber, some egg mayonnaise, and of course salad cream. Any of those match, Boris? <laughs> Seven weeks and twenty-seven days later. <gasps> there she is. Aim! I got her! Hey! Haha! <laughs> Get uh. Oh! I didn't get her. Well, I hit her, but I didn't kill her. I thought she died because I didn't see her running away. I mean, I suspect she'll die from that anyway. Let's go get the pig and then run after her. Okay, how bad is this? 3.41 for three gems. <laughs> Quite, is the answer. Is it really just the one bit of blood that I found? <laughs> sure, I could be wrong, but I think I'd be hunting this bobcat, this one bobcat now, for over an hour. That's not really the reserve's fault, though. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried that that first blood track is the only blood I've come across. I get the feeling actually now that she won't be dying from this. <sighs> this fucking bobcat's pissing me off. I think I may have just stumbled across her. Possibly. I just saw something orange up ahead. What am I looking at? <laughs> Is that a pig? It's an elk. <sighs> so there's the last track of me following her. She was fleeing up to there and that was the first roaming. And then I put down a urine spray but I wasn't happy with my location or the location of the spray and then a bear came along as <laughs> and now I and now I've just come across this cow she's just called she just called there she is so she didn't come to the urine spray I put down can I get a dot on it Oh, for Pete's sake, that's even further along now. Is it going to let me? No. Right, so I need to find a place. Oh. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I haven't fallen in like with Settler Creeks. <laughs> now, I am getting shit luck and I get shit luck on every reserve. But... It's just harder to deal with the shit luck on this reserve. I mean... Uh, can I... So, she's about 60 metres ahead. Yeah, so it's not even like I can go down into that field. I just have to try and find somewhere, you know? <laughs> because of the way the map is made. I mean... It, it simulates nature brilliantly. I mean, you obviously get terrain like this and flora, you know, constant foliage in the way all the time in real life. But the thing is, it real life is a bit more fair 
because I can't be seen through leaves as easily, especially in camo clothing. Uh, do you know what? Maybe back to that ridge line that I crawled up. Yes, okay, so if I can get her... Yeah, I'll do a year in spray up here and then go down there. Anywhere down there looks good. Okay, let's do that. So I've used up my last scent eliminator. Which is... Oh, I can't even tell how long I've got because I need a scent eliminator in my hand to tell. Grr. Right, so... I urine sprayed up there. Here will do. I mean, it's a bit close, but we'll see. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't look up further than that. Was that? I think that was a white tailed doe. It is a white tailed doe. Or it might be a buck, actually. Just as I. No, that's a doe. Seven months and 27 weeks later. <laughs> that bloody doe. Seven years and 27 months later. There she is, there she is, there she is. Get fucked. Yeah, bitch, got you. Fuck are you? <sighs> right, so I, I started at nine, it's now 1400. So two and a half hours I've been playing on this piss and reserve now. And that's the area I've covered, thanks to that fucking bobcat. Some elk, including quite a nice bull, up to 405. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's two up to that score because that one looks like a normal colour. I better move. And uh, there was another one that looked like a variation. Hello! Okay. Let's get back to the tower. Uh, I've been back to the lodge and I picked up some more arrows and some more scent eliminator. I would have liked some more 30 or 6 rounds really, but never mind. <laughs> oh, and on my way up I came across I think something else which is a bit annoying about this reserve. Now it's not the only reserve that has this kind of thing but it does seem to be prevalent on this one. So on my way up to this tower there were all these boulders that were constantly getting in the way. The uh, the mountainous regions in Timbergold are similar to that as well. I'm going to try and do this a little bit more like I know what I'm doing. That That is to say I'm going to pretend. <laughs> but that guy looked like he had fairly decent... What are they called? The third tines? Can you stop moving your head for a second? Yeah, those there. The, the big one that goes up to 405, it looked like his were really big. I think I'm going to take a shot on this guy. He is. Okay, so... Those of you who haven't seen any of my videos before, or at least not the ones where I've talked about it, the elk are one of my unicorn species. So I set myself a target for taxidermizing based on 
85% of what's in the leaderboards. So when I wrote my target of 362, the highest in the leaderboard at the time was 425 and a half. And uh, my personal best is only 355.9. So I've never gotten anything over 355, Roosevelt out, out and yeah, that's right. Uh, and my target is actually 362. Now this guy looks like he's got pretty big tines down here. <laughs> But he's still very meh. Oh well. Just had an elk bull call down on the red dot. I'm I think it's one of the ones from over here though. Because it was I've only got one track of it, but it was a previously discovered aminor. As I ID'd this call. Oh yeah, I need to keep coming up with things that Boris might be eating. We've done chocolate. Jelly! You eat jelly. Jelly! Or trifle. Or yoghurt. Or ice cream! Ooh! Blimey! He's all the way over there already. Okay. Well, I'm going to stand up and walk to the tower then. And then call him back. I uh, went to Runner's Peak, haven't been there for years, pointless of course, nothing there, I mean couldn't see anything, uh, yeah I'm guessing it's the same words, oh well, I was tempted to go that way, I should have, <laughs> I should have gone over here maybe, but I, I mean I was also tempted by F off, thank you. I was also tempted by the golden tree stand. Although it's only golden at six in the morning or something, but... Uh, seven decades and 27 years later. I'm at the tower. Joe, I think it's been years since I've been here as well. The cows have got here first. I did see a bull moving in the background behind them, but now that I'm recording, I can't find them. So, just thought I'd bring you back to say I'm going to bow as many of these as I can. So I made the call. Yeah, I was going to say why she stood there. I think it was down there-ish. makes a refreshing change. Ooh. Oh. Let go. Go! Haha, <laughs> funny. I didn't get the spot on it, did I? Here we go. So I, I did all the calls down there. I did a an elk, a deer, and I had the bobcat in the ninth slot. Because it's possible. I mean, considering here there was a whole load of hogs, and I'm talking like six or eight of them. Where's the nearest hog on the map? There. So. I think that the bull I saw walking around, I reckon it's gone to sleep. <laughs> so I, I didn't see it very clearly, but I definitely saw something moving. It was like behind those trees, maybe. I could just see something moving through the, through the branches. Siren. Okay, I'm going to have 
have a quick look, see if I can find the balls, see if they are sleeping. If I don't find them, I'll see you over the golden tree stand, I suppose. A buck call over on the red dot. You just saw the rings dissipating from its call, but it's not the same buck I've been tracking. So I fast travelled to this lodge and thought I'd check down south for a whitetail buck before I end. As you can see, the hunt is getting late. And I came across this max weight buck as I was crossing. Oops, wrong button. As I was crossing this field, and I've been following it. Well, now I've had that guy call. I might go investigate him, and then come back for that guy. So he's heading down into this peninsula. So he's not actually going to be able to go anywhere. <laughs> so let's, I'm going to bow the first one that's just called. And then use the, th uh, the 30 or 6 on the buck I've been tracking. Is the plan. Ooh. Yeah, this will do. I can come up here and wait call from down there. Do have to be careful though just in case he is coming back up from the water's edge. Oh for Pete's sake. Do you know what? He's not going to go very far because he's going to be stuck against the water. So I might just move south and then do a call in a bit and hopefully he would have calmed down. Plan! Another plan. I just heard some footsteps on the other side of this ridge. <laughs> oh, it was heart and lungs, okay. And there's another track. Which may very well be from the one I was tracking before, possibly. Okay, so single lung. The bow wobbled down just as I was adjusting down as well. <laughs> so I, I was thinking it was a really low shot. Oh. Oh, this is the one that caught by the water's edge. Ah! So the one I just bowed is the one I was tracking. Cool. Although... The weight on the one by the water's edge actually is uh, max weight as well, 85 to 100. I've been pronouncing that wrong. I looked it up the other day. It is actually King Bolette. You pronounce the T. I was pronouncing it Bolet. Seven centuries and twenty-seven decades. Okay, this is getting silly now. Okay, there's a dead guy. I'm going to guess that he caused the other one to flee again. <laughs> because of course he did. Put a dot on him. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, 
Okay. Hit him. At least. Right. He doesn't look very good, does he? A, a 120.9. Yeah. Right. Next. Right then. Body. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> Aha! Yep, there we go. He doesn't look great either. Let's have a look. 148. Bigger than the last guy. Okie dokie. A couple of average dicks. Uh, one for Boris there. Bucks to end, <laughs> to end the hunt with. <laughs> I mean, you knew I was going to say it at some point. I thought I'd leave it to the end. Make you think I wasn't going to say it. Um, yeah, so. Can I fall in like with Settler Creek? No, I don't dislike it any more than I did. There's something at least. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it's still not completely clear what it is about this reserve. And again, as I've said in a previous video, I hope the person who, or people actually, it was probably a team of people, I hope they don't mind if they see our videos moaning about Settler Creeks. I'm hoping that they've worked on other reserves that we all like so they're not too fussed <laughs> that we don't like Settler Creeks but uh, yeah. I mean I, I, to be fair actually I don't dislike it it's just I'm indifferent to it you know it, it, it's just it's it's okay yeah. Right, so that'll be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got some enjoyment out of it at least. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. So thank you again. Apple pie and goodbye. <laughs>